Welcome back to another Construct video and in this video we're going to try and help Indiana Slime get through these arrows by ducking, crouch walking and sliding. So let's start with the basics. We've got our player here and the first thing that we need to do is create a crouch animation. So I've got my crouch animation here and here's my regular animation. You also notice that I've got hitboxes on, so I've clicked on this hitbox option and this allows me to adjust the hitbox of the character and currently my hitbox is quite large. For the crouch one, I want to make this a bit smaller. So for this one, I literally just duplicated my first character, came through and I've just got rid of some of the body. The hat is the same size, but most importantly for the crouch animation, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove some of these points here and actually make the hitbox a lot smaller than it already is. That way, when we actually duck, our hitbox will be smaller and we won't get hit by the arrows anymore. Next, we need a way to actually duck. So we're gonna right click, insert a new object, and we're gonna add an input device. In this case, I'm gonna use a keyboard. Click that in and we can go to the event sheet. Now in the event sheet, just ignore everything I've got so far. This is just to make the arrow shoot. So what we're gonna do is add a brand new event. And we're gonna check if a keyboard button's pressed. So is key down? And for my ducking, I'm just gonna use the down key. Now we need to check a couple of things apart from just pressing down. So we're just gonna add another condition onto our player. And the main thing we're just gonna check at this point is, is the player on the floor? If not, they're gonna be crouching in midair. If that's something you want for your game, that's great. But for most games, you're only gonna be able to crouch if you're on the floor. So once we've done that, we can go to our player, scroll to set animation, and then we can change the animation to crouch. So that's the first bit done. Now, what I'm gonna do for the first one is make it when you crouch, you can't walk. So I'm gonna to go to my player, scroll down, and I'm gonna set ignore input. So I'm gonna start ignoring the user's input. So now I crouch, I can't move. We now need a way to actually get out of the crouch, which means we can start moving again. So I'm gonna add a brand new event on our keyboard, is key down, check the down key again. And this time we're just gonna right click and invert it. Then we're gonna take the two lines of code that we've done before and just change them slightly. So we're gonna start animation and we'll go back to our idle animation and it's gonna start ignoring user input. And we can just copy and paste this one. I'm gonna double click and we're gonna stop ignoring. Now we also might want to take them out of their crouch if they're no longer on the floor. Let's say they're falling now or they've been hit by an arrow knocking them back. So we also need to check if they're no longer on the floor. So for this, we're gonna copy and paste this line of code, take this one here and place it underneath and then just remove the top one. Finally, we're just going to invert it to check they're no longer on the floor. Now, some of you might be thinking, why don't we use an or block for this? When I've done my tests, it doesn't work with an or block and it will not take you out of crouch. I don't know if this just sync with the current version of Construct or this is an error, but I can get this working. So I'm using two different commands and that seems to have fixed the problem. So we can test our first one. So now when the arrows come, I can duck underneath them, but I'm not able to walk. Well, we're gonna make some changes. First of all, our start and stop ignoring blocks we're gonna get rid of, so I'm holding control to select all of those. And we could just leave it like that. So at this stage, the player can walk and they can move around the screen. So if we test this now, you can see that I can crouch and walk. However, this is a bit broken because now it gives the player full control and full reason to hold down crouch at all times. There's no real reason for them to not hold crouch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bit of a penalty on using crouch. So we're gonna to go to actions, player, scroll down. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the max speed. Now mine's set to 150 by default, I'm gonna change it to 75. If you can't find your default, just click on your play on the right side and you can see all their stats here. Once we let go, we need to just reset this. So we're just going to change this back to 150 and 150. This now means my player moves at half speed while crouched. And again, it's just a way to penalize them for actually holding down the crouch button. So if I go again, you can see I'm moving much slower now. And if this was a race to get to the end, my player might think twice about holding down the crouch button all the time. Finally, we move on to sliding. So we want to create a slide animation so when the player holds it down, they get a burst of speed and then they slow down to a stop. 
So there's a couple of things that we need to set up for this. First of all, we can use a lot of the code that we've done already. However, we do need to do a second check to make sure they're moving. So what I actually recommend is copying and pasting this block of code from line four. And what we're going to do is we're going to check if they're down, if they're on the floor, and then we're going to add another condition to check if the player is moving. This is going to tell the difference between crouching and sliding. On the flip side, we need to copy and paste this is moving and apply it to the other side and just right click and invert. That way we've still got the option to crouch normally and the ability to slide. Just quick edit note that I spotted. If you just go onto your sliding animation, just add one more condition and go to your player, check which animation it's currently playing and set this to idle. What this will do is this will stop you being able to crouch and then do a slide straight after. Now we also need to check which direction they're sliding in so we can make sure we're sliding to the right or the left. So we're gonna right click, add a condition, keyboard, and then just check if key is down and then we can start with right and we can copy this for left as well. Now for this, we're gonna crouch and then we're going to just click on the side, right click, and we're gonna add in a sub event. Now we want the crouching to only trigger once. So we're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna grab this trigger once while true. So we can make sure the slide only happens once. Now we're gonna start by taking the max speed and put it in with the trigger once while true. I'm gonna double click on the max speed and I'm going to change the max speed to be something much higher. So currently set to 150. Let's go a little bit extreme and go to 600. So it's gonna be very, very slidey to begin with. Now I might also want to go to my player and I might also want to set their deacceleration as well. And this means they come to a much gradual stop than what they do at the moment. My default set to 1500. Let's just start by halving that. Next, we're also gonna to go to our player and we're gonna go back to an option we've already used, which is set ignore and input. We want to start ignoring input so they get a burst of speed when they start sliding and then they can't move until they let go again. Finally, what we need to do is we're just going to add one final action and we're just gonna to go to our player and this is where the slide comes in. I'm gonna set bet to X. Now, if we want to go to the right, which is what we're programming at the moment, we're gonna make this a positive number. If we want to go to the left, we'll set it as a negative number. So 600. On the flip side, we need to actually reverse all of this. So when the player stops crouching, all of this comes to a stop. So I'm just gonna take these three lines of code, or in fact, I've already got my max speed on these two, so I'm gonna leave these for now. But my deacceleration and start ignoring, I'm just gonna copy and paste them to these two blocks here. And I just need to make sure that I change them back. So this one's now 1500, this one's now stop ignoring, and then just the same for this side as well, 1500, and stop ignoring. So let's just quickly go through what we've got. We've got the option to hold down, check if the player is on the floor and if they're not moving, they'll do a normal crouch. If for any reason they're holding down and they're moving in a direction, say holding right, then what we're going to do is we're going to increase their speed, decrease their deceleration so they slide a lot more and then give them a big burst of speed in the direction right. Again, if we want to do this for left, we can copy and paste this block and change this to minus 600 and change this to a left arrow. Once they're in the slide, they can't do anything until they come to a stop and they let go or they let go of the down key to get out of the crouch. So let's have a look at what this looks like now. The arrow comes, I'm getting hit as normal, I'm gonna give a bit of space and now if I'm moving, I get this slide animation that comes through. Now, this is only set up for the right side for me so I can move across like that. But if I want to set up for the left again, all we do is just take this block, copy and paste it and then just change this one to be left and this to be minus 600 or whatever your slide value is. And now I can deal with all these pesky spikes by ducking and sliding. That's it for today's video. Code will be in the description. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.